AI feels instant, magical, and free. But did you know that every prompt you put comes with a real cost? Today, we're breaking down exactly what it costs to run AI. The money, the natural resources, the hardware, all of it, without the hype. Welcome to Plevo. If you've ever wondered why your AI bill is rising, this is your video. And if you like what you're about to watch, hit that subscribe button. Let's start with what it actually costs to run AI, the inference cost, which is basically the cost to generate a response. For many modern efficient models, AI inference today costs a fraction of what it used to cost back in 2022. For example, the cost per million tokens of the GPT 3.5 equivalent model dropped from 20 US dollars in November 2022 to 50 cents in early 2024. Most recently, the cost to use the highly optimized Gemini 2.5 flash model is currently priced at around 7 cents per million input tokens. Now, you might want to know what these so-called tokens are and how they're connected to the inference costs. Let me break it down to you in simple terms. Tokens are the chunks of text or characters an AI model processes and every one of them costs compute to read or generate. So the more tokens you use or the length of your prompt and output combined, the higher your total inference costs. Basically, you're paying per token the model works through. But here's the catch. While inference is getting cheaper, your workflow might be getting more expensive. Here's how. Agent-based pipelines are now doing 20 steps when older models did one. They browse, they write, they verify, they run code, and every step costs money and computing. This is also why Cloud GPU, AWS, Google Cloud, Azure are all increasing virtual machine prices and storage prices for 2025 and 2026. Here's how the popular Cloud GPU prices stand. AWS H100 instance, $3.90 an hour. Google Cloud H100, $3 an hour. Azure H100, $6.98 an hour. In hardware, it's messy. While some flagship AI GPUs are becoming more available, the bigger bottleneck is now memory and storage. So even as models get cheaper to run per token, everything around them is yet to reach optimal pricing. Now let's talk about the environmental impact. AI models run in massive data centers and these things use a significant amount of power. Cooling those centers is an entire expense category by itself. Fans, chillers, or even liquid cooling just to ensure the GPUs don't overheat and fail under heavy load. And data centers also consume huge amounts of water not to run the computers, but to cool them. But this doesn't mean that AI is evil. It just means it's not free. The power has to come from somewhere. You know what they say, with great convenience comes great cost. Even now, more AI companies are coming up with newer, more efficient ways for computer cooling, like water reuse or dry cooling. Here we discuss the impact on creators. A lot of freelancers and solo creators feel locked out now. GPU rentals that used to cost 99 cents an hour are now four to $6 an hour for high-end cards. In 2025, many cloud GPU rentals and top tier chips like Nvidia's H100 are frequently available for around $2 to $4 an hour. That makes high end compute much more accessible to the creators than the old $8 to $10 an hour or more that dominated the market just a year ago. The Nvidia H100s are basically the flagship AI hardware, but they come with a significant price tag. So even though AI tools are more powerful than ever, the hardware needed to train or run the big models is becoming a rich person's game. So in order to access top tier GPUs and AI hardware, it remains pretty expensive for many, making high-end AI development largely viable only for organizations or individuals with a lot of resources. Now let's talk about some efficiency improvements. AI models are becoming way more efficient per token, meaning higher quality outputs, lower cost of generating and processing tokens or chunks of sentences. How is this happening? Well, architecture improvements, new transformer variants like GPT-40 and Llama 3 are designed to do more with fewer operations. Plus faster output, meaning upgraded systems can handle more tokens per second, enabling quicker responses. Another good news is that companies are also shifting to renewable powered data centers, solar farms, wind powered cooling, and hydroelectric setups. And on device AI is growing super fast. Phones, laptops, all doing more locally. That means less load on the cloud servers. And open source innovation is pushing hardware requirements down. Many models run on laptops now. On top of this, open source and lightweight model innovation is pushing hardware requirements way down. 
Open weight models like Llama let developers inspect and fine tune the architecture, and smaller language models like Phi are designed to run comfortably on everyday laptops, sometimes without a GPU. If you're someone who uses AI a lot, here are four takeaways to keep your bill low. Number one, batch task. Don't run 20 separate prompts. Run one long structured prompt. Number two, avoid long context when you don't need it. 20,000 tokens are expensive. Number three, use smaller, local models like Llama 3.8b, Mistral 7b, Phi 3 Mini when possible. They're fast, private, and free after setup. And finally, number four, don't run agents for simple tasks. They chain multiple tools, so you're basically wasting money and resources. A bonus tip, if you want to stay up to date about the world of AI, you must follow this channel. AI isn't free, but it isn't destroying the planet either. The real truth lies somewhere in the middle. AI is powerful, it's resource heavy, and is becoming a part of everyday life. Soon, it might even become a necessity. So the more we understand the hidden cost, the smarter we can be when using it. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new, you know what to do.